Hello friends and welcome to Boost Your Career, the place where you learn the skills to grow in your career. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create radar charts. Radar charts are very specific charts that are created to show the extremes in the data. Now, if you see this, uh, this is the small data of the names of the people and the marks they have got in different uh, subjects. This has been plotted under radar chart. Now, this radar chart shows history, English, the subjects which are outliers here and their achievement which is displayed as per the colors of different participants like here. Now, if you want to know well, who is the uh, good achiever or who is the who has high, high, scored highest marks in a particular subject like say Marathi, you can see the blue line is the extreme line over here. That means Jitu has scored highest score in Marathi. If you want to know about maths, you can see here the green line over here. That means the Kirti he has scored. So this is the data which ca can be interpreted from the radar chart. This is very specifically used for specific purpose only, but very important to know. So let us go ahead and learn how to create radar chart. So let us go ahead and create radar chart with the help of this data. So I have selected this whole data, then go to insert. Now this is the Excel that I am using is Excel 2016. You can find the options uh, in the other versions as well, the option of the charts. Now under insert, I can see under charts, there is one option called interface, in insert surface and radar chart. So under that I will go ahead and I can see this radar chart option is there. Under that I have three options, radar chart, then I have radar with markers and then radar field radar chart. Now we are going to see all this. First of all go ahead and insert this first, first option and radar chart. Now if you see here the radar chart has been created but this shows uh, 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 the six angles which are there in this particular figure this six angle shows the names of the participants but their subjects are shown as per the lines which are of different colors if i want to change suppose i want their performance based upon their subject that they learn now this is the performance of each of the student uh, shown under uh, different colors for the subject i want reverse so i will go here under design you can see here switch row and columns so I will go here and switch that now we can see here the subjects are now outliers which are five only that is a pen that is the reason pentagon pentagon has been created and uh, uh, now the uh, legends are of different names of the participants easily we can interpret this particular chart that is the reason I created I put the subjects outside that means the characteristic it can be subject it can be some characteristics it can be any uh, major that should be put on the angles and the lines uh, we can put as a participants so whatever you are way you are comfortable that you can put so i will just do some formatting i want the legend legend on the right hand side so I'll, uh, click here on the right hand side the legend has come on the right hand side you can if you want to change the chart title the radar chart you can change that uh, now we will try to interpret this. Now if you see this, the first uh, pentagon, second pentagon, third and likewise, the maximum, the last pentagon is of 100. If you want to change that, you can change that as well uh, by uh, changing this chart, data series, format data series, the primary, secondary access or you can change from here, maximum and minimum. So that way you can change it. This is also if you select this particular axis, then you can go here and select. Axis options, minimum, maximum, minimum is now zero. If you want to start from 20, you can do that as well like this. But I will keep it as zero only. If you want to change that, you can just select that axis and you can do that. Now 0, 20 to until 100. So I kept this maximum as 100 because I want to see who has scored the maximum in particular subject. Now if I look at Marathi, this is the subject and we can see this blue line is came to extreme of all these lines, all other lines. 
so blue line represented by g2 so g2 has scored maximum in marathi which can be interpreted very easily so that is a help that is a advantage of radar chart so if the data is of less number of uh, characteristics and less number of uh, people then you can use this radar chart so g2 if you see in marathi has scored 98 g2 98 in marathi see this one and uh, let us look at other subject now maths i can see this particular uh, person uh, you can see this is represented by kirti to so this particular uh, thing this is so this is the data maths you can see here in maths kirti has scored 85 so that is extreme for maths so this is the way this data can be interpreted like for english like for english if you see manoj has scored manoj is represented by this color yellow color and which is in english if you see scored 95 so this is how it is very easily interpreted that is a advantage of radar chart i will put this chart aside for now and we are going to try we are going to create the another type of radar chart i have again, again selected this data I go to insert then go to this chart radar chart and the third option i will take now I'll go ahead and take the third option if you see this third option shows all this data which is filled data but i don't want this filled data for all the participants because it doesn't makes any sense and uh, it's difficult to interpret so if i want to compare say only two people suppose i want to compare the data for say jitu and minu okay so i will select this data names g2 and minu if you want to compare some other uh, participant as well you can just hold control key and select that data but now for now i am want to just compare g2 and minu support and uh, this will be easier for me or this will be better to use this particular chart which is field radar chart now this field radar chart so that is the reason i use it for is comparing the two people's performance <coughs> for now i'll just keep here about this chart let us go ahead and interpret this first okay so i'll change this chart title radar chart field can okay. legend i want on the right side on the right hand side okay now again my uh, uh, subjects which are or on the outlier the axis i want ki i want to keep it as like this only so here what are we comparing we are comparing the data for two people only which is shown by radar chart which is field radar chart now in this data you can see here the area covered by blue which is g2 is more than the area covered by orange which is minu that means what in uh, most of the subject the g2 is performing well than minu but in one of the subject that is in history minu has performed better than g2 because it, it is outliers so this is the way you can interpret radar field chart it can be easily interpreted now if you see here g2's performance overall performance is better its average comes to 79 against uh, minus average which is just 56 but in one of the subject that is history okay minu has performed better than g2 this is easily interpreted from the radar field chart that is the use of radar charts so two charts we have learned under radar chart that is radar ch radar chart and radar field chart so i hope you like this video and you will definitely try how to create radar chart let me know in the comments how did you like and what charts or what excel functions that you would like to know more about so definitely please subscribe to this channel to learn such kind of a skills in future so stay tuned till the next video and thank you very much